in terms of in this country in terms of investment in infrastructure, making sure that um, uh, that there's opportunities for um, for, for uh, people within the country to be able to move around, to do business more effectively, businesses when they get here to be able to work across different cities and towns and so on. Um, and I think if you look at the strategic vision around infrastructure that I've certainly seen and I'm sure you're very familiar with, um, obviously there's a real recognition that if you don't invest uh, in infrastructure, uh, then the other things are harder to achieve. Um, so, you know, roads and bridges and railways and airports, uh, those, those basic things need investment. They need partnership from different countries with Bangladesh to make sure that the, that vision and that ambition is realized. And, you know, no one's under any illusion that these things are difficult and can take time and they cost. Uh, but it's really important that Bangladesh achieves that mission if it wants to reach its ambition to become um, to to um, become a middle income re re gain middle income status. Um, there's a related matter which is to do with um, economic development and inclusive growth and inclusive development, so that people um, can benefit from that investment, uh, not only on infrastructure, which is, it's clear that there are lots of, there will be lots of benefits, but also that that um, employment opportunities grow. Every country around the world is grappling with how to ensure that it can adapt to, to a changing world, both in terms of the technological revolution, but also other changes. And that means, including the UK, constantly working at making sure that the investment governments make to their economy benefits the society and its people, uh, and we have that. You know, we have those sorts of objectives in common. Um, so I think I think that that's really that's really where uh, that's my observation of where things are at. Um, and I hope that our um, investors, our companies, whether they are British Bangladeshi businesses uh, or the other mainstream businesses in the UK. I mean, many British Bangladeshis work in, you know, the BPs and the Shells and the, you know, KPMGs and um, Standard Chartered in the UK. Some of them want to be posted out here because they have a connection with this country. So it's important not to see these things as separate. You know, we are increasingly integrated into British, the British economy and British society and British politics. So that's the first thing I would say about the diaspora population or British Bangladeshi population and the second generation are, and I've seen, met some of those people, you know, people who've worked in government who are now working here, uh, a number of people, um, who are helping their country of origin um, by, through their, their knowledge and their skills. Um, and so that, that needs to continue. I think I'm seeing companies being smarter about the way they deploy their personnel into the countries where people have connections. Uh, multinationals who are doing that. So, so we, I want to see more of that and I want to encourage our companies to do more of that. To really tap into the diversity of the UK so that the linguistic, the cultural connections, the relationships, the people-to-people -people relationships are genuinely being harnessed for development, uh, economic as well as social development. Obviously we've had the social development side going on for a long time too and the partnerships. 